The hollow moon hypothesis proposes that Earth's moon is either completely hollow or otherwise contains a substantial interior space. No scientific evidence exists to support the idea, seismic observations and other data collected since spacecraft began to orbit or land on the moon indicate that it has a thin crust, extensive mantle and small, dense core, although overall it is much less dense than Earth. The hollow moon concept is similar to the better known hollow Earth hypothesis, which was a recurring plot device in pre-space flight science fiction. The hollow moon hypothesis is the suggestion that the moon is hollow, usually as a product of an alien civilization. It is often called the spaceship moon hypothesis and often corresponds with beliefs in UFOs or ancient astronauts. The suggestion of a hollow moon first appeared in science fiction when H.G. Wells wrote about a hollow moon in his 1901 book The First Men in the Moon. Greek mythology, with its Hades and early religious concepts of an underworld, such as the Christian hell, contributed to ideas of the Earth being hollow. It is now considered to be a French theory. It is often described in the media as a conspiracy theory, and the concept of the moon as a spaceship is often mentioned as one of David Icke's beliefs. Sherbakov in 1970, Michael Vassin and Alexander Sherbakov, of what was then, the Soviet Academy of Sciences, advanced a hypothesis, that the moon is a spaceship, created by unknown beings. The article was entitled, Is the Moon the Creation, of Alien Intelligence? And was published in Sputnik, the Soviet equivalent, of Reader's Digest. Their hypothesis, relies heavily on the suggestion, that large lunar craters, generally assumed, to be formed from meteor impact, are generally too shallow and have flat, or even convex, bottoms. The moon rang like a bell. Between 1972 and 1977, seismometers installed on the moon by the Apollo missions recorded moonquakes. The moon was described as ringing like a bell during some of those quakes, specifically the shallow ones. This phrase was brought to popular attention in March 1970 in an article in Popular Science. When Apollo 12 deliberately crashed the ascent stage of its lunar module onto the moon's surface, it was claimed that the moon rang like a bell for an hour, leading to arguments that it must be hollow like a bell. Lunar seismology experiments since then have shown that the lunar body has shallow moon quakes that act differently from quakes on Earth due to differences in texture, type and density of the planetary strata, but there is no evidence of any large empty space inside the body. Density The fact that the moon is less dense than the Earth is advanced as support for it to be hollow. The moon's mean density is 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter whereas the Earth's is 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. One explanation of this discrepancy is that the moon may have been formed by a giant impact which ejected some of the early Earth's upper crust into its orbit. The Earth's upper mantle and crust are less dense than its core. Cornell University's Ask an Astronomer, run by volunteers in the astronomy department, answered the question, can we prove that the moon isn't hollow? There, physicist Suniti Kerel-Metalake suggests that there are at least two ways to determine the distribution of mass within a body. One involves moment of inertia parameters, the other involves seismic observations. In the case of the former, Kerel-Metalake points out that the moment of inertia parameters indicate that the core of the moon is both dense and small, with the rest of the moon consisting of material with nearly constant density. Possible Origins of the Moon The giant impact hypothesis, sometimes called the Big Splash, or the Thea impact, suggests that Luna, formed from the ejector of a collision between the proto-Earth and a Mars-sized planet, approximately 4.5 billion years ago, in the Hadeanian, about 20 to 100 million years after the solar system, coalesced analysis of lunar rocks, published in a 2016 report, suggests that the impact may have been a direct hit causing a thorough mixing of both parent bodies. Thea The name of the hypothesized protoplanet is derived from the mythical Greek, Titan Thea, who gave birth to the moon, goddess Selene. This designation was proposed initially by the English geochemist Alex N. Halliday in 2000 and has become accepted in the scientific community. According to modern theories of planet formation, Thea was part of a population of Mars-sized bodies that existed in the solar system 4.5 billion years ago. 
Other mechanisms that have been suggested, at various times for the Moon's origin, are that the Moon was spun off from the Earth's molten, surface by centrifugal force, that it was formed elsewhere, and was subsequently captured, by the Earth's gravitational field, or that the Earth and the Moon formed, at the same time and place, from the same accretion disk. Yet another hypothesis, proposes that the Moon and the Earth, have formed together instead, of separately like the giant impact, hypothesis suggests. This model, published in, 2012 by Robin M. Comparison of the zinc isotopic, composition of lunar samples, with that of Earth and Mars rocks, provides further evidence, for the impact hypothesis. Collisions between, ejector escaping Earth's gravity, and asteroids would have left impact, heating signatures in stony meteorites, analysis based on assuming the existence, of this effect has been used, to date the impact event to 4.47 billion years ago, in agreement with the date, obtained by other means, 